because wine is so complex. So the thousand volatile compo compounds in wine, I think neurologically we're only capable of maybe detecting 50 of those volatile compounds at a time. Don't quote me on those exact numbers. It's somewhere around there. So that means there's a lot, 950 things that you could be missing. That's why taste is completely subjective. If you get puppy dog and I get tobacco in a wine, then we're both right because it's, it's what we it's what we picked up. Exactly. And I think this is a very uh, important thing that uh, a lot of uh, people do not understand about wine when they are criticizing these uh, wine professionals. How do you how do you feel these uh, strawberry strawberry flavors? Because it's made out of grapes. It can only taste grapes. But actually, technically, all those compounds uh, that we can uh, uh, feel in wine, most of them are present in different fruits. So you actually feel those exact compounds, but not a lot of people uh, understand this fact. And this, this is really important. And at the same time, that also intimidates people. You don't have to pick up those flavors to enjoy the wine. Does the wine of taste course. good when you put it on the palate? Does it give you pleasure? Okay. The stuff that we're talking about, flavors, the structure, the tannin structure, how the tannins feel, the acidity, the backbone, this is for real, real geeky people. Most people don't need to know that. <laughs> so you could be able to just drink, just pour that, bo pop that cork, drink more wine, enjoy that wine in a glass, and then just have fun with it. Of course, of course. I'm not saying that uh, everybody should know these compounds. Just the fact that a lot of people are uh, criticizing uh, yes. us geeks that this is just made up. But actually, it's it's uh, it's real. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. It's uh, it's it's one of grapes are one of the most complex beverages in the world. I think that's the magic. I also like the history of the metaphysics of wine, why mm. wine came to be discovered, uh, why it's so magical because grapes are so complex, and when fermentation happens the amount of aromas, volatile compounds that are transformed, that are released, it's really quite special. Exactly. I would like to recommend a book for you. A uh, Hungarian, very famous Hungarian writer wrote The Philosophy of Wine. It's I know the book. Interesting. I you know, know the, the book? book. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I it's... haven't read it, but I, I know the book. You should, you should, because it's uh, such an interesting, a deep metaphysical and even spiritual uh, experience about wine, the grapes, wine tasting, uh, combining uh, dishes with wine, but in a in a so different way. I never read anything like this. It's such also a, such a... for for your listeners too. One book I recommend for people want to get is Paul Lukacs's Inventing Wine. It's a look at the history of wine, and it's not, it's also almost anthropological, almost investigative journalism. Mm -hmm. But it is written for the layperson. That also, it doesn't get as metaphysical as you were talking about, but it's it's a very interesting read. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.